Hi, this is Greg Parker for New Job, New You TV. Alexander asked me to say a few words about the career transitions I've gone through and provide some tips to make your career transition more successful. First, a little about myself. After graduating college with a computer science and mathematics degree, I entered the Navy and became a submarine officer and nuclear engineer. I served for three years on board the USS Chicago as the assistant nuclear engineer, and then two years on shore duty in Pensacola, Florida. Unfortunately, while I was on shore duty, I found that I had a hearing anomaly that would preclude further service in the Navy, so I had to undergo my first career transition. I decided it would be best to return to my original calling as a computer scientist, but I didn't want to sacrifice my experience in education as a submarine officer and nuclear engineer, so I applied for jobs on naval bases around the United States. I was accepted at a, for a position at U.S. Space and Naval Warfare Systems Command in San Diego, where I served for one year as a computer scientist and then three years as the Deputy Director of Corporate Information Services. So in August of 2000, I entered law school to become a lawyer. While in law school, as I looked around to see what kind of lawyer I was going to be, I decided once again to call upon my education experience as a naval officer and I applied to JAG Corps. I was accepted in, in October of 2003, I began my career as a Navy lawyer. The first two years I served as a defense attorney in Great Lakes, and then I, ser I am now serving as the staff judge advocate for Submarine Squadron 15 in Guam. I have to tell you, I absolutely love my current job, couldn't ask for a better one. I get to practice all kinds of law on a daily basis, criminal law, environmental law, contract law, administrative law, law of the sea, admiralty law, the list just goes on and on. It's a lot of fun. And the location, well, I'm living on a tropical island in the South Pacific. How bad is that? Now, those tips to help your career transition more successful. First, when you decide to go into a new job, try to pick a job that will, help you, will allow you to take advantage of your already existing education and experience. It will make you far more valuable to your employer, and it will mean that you don't have to start over from scratch in your new career. The second tip is, if you're going to make a career transition, you're going to try out a new field. Don't just dabble in it. Don't try to put in 50%. You've got to throw yourself into it 100%. If you don't, when those inevitable obstacles come along, it will be far easier for you to give up and return to your original career than to commit yourself to the new career. And the third tip I have is really more motivational advice. Don't think that it's too late to begin a new career. I remember telling Alexander that I read a letter some time ago. It was to Dear Ann, or it was Ann Landers or Dear Abby, I can't remember which one. It was from a 47-year-old woman who said, Ann, I feel like I want to go back to medical school. The kids are out of the house and I can do it now, but at 47, I have four years of medical school to go through, a couple years of internship, and it'll be another three or four years before I can pay off my school loans and then actually start making money. Ann's response was, was perfect and very, very simple. She said, how old will you be in 10 years if you don't go back to medical school? And the answer obviously is, don't look at it as how old you're going to be. Look at it as what you're going to enjoy doing. If you're going to enjoy the new career, throw yourself behind it, and I promise you, you will be successful.